By the uh, way, uh, just so you know, in the green room, ready to come on, is... Well, you're a minute late. You took the a man of the hour, Dr. Ben Quist. All right, bring him. Let's do it. Incoming physician. <laughs> no, he's not. He is a physical therapist. Sure. Licensed. <laughs> oh, he could take out your tonsils if you asked him nicely, I'm sure. <laughs> he, he could take you out. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he has looked like he's been about ready to take me out a couple of times. I've known him for, for like 20, 23 years. I think I've known him. I don't know how long Foreman Fitness has been open. Well, Everybody thinks people used to think F and F stood for Fleet and Farm, but it really starts. It really <laughs> people are understanding that it really stands for Foreman Fitness, and that's that's the gym that Ben. Started. there he is, the camera. Hey, <laughs> the man of the hour, Doctor Ben Quist. Hello, Doctor. Man. Hello, the, guys. Hello, Fleet, Fleet Farm. What? Yeah, you, you took over. You, you took over the F's from Fleet Farm. Now, I, Farm oh. Fitness is the new Fleet Farm. Everything you want there, right, Ben? Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, certainly as far as fitness goes, but uh, <laughs> so, yeah, other stuff. I, I have to say, Ben might be too nice of a person to be on the show. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll corrupt him by shows, then. Don't worry. <laughs> I first, I first, Ben. When did Farm and Fitness open? Do you recall? Uh, our first location opened about 21 years ago in that one. And then the okay. second location where, where you go, Jack, that opened about 16 years ago. 16 years ago in Grafton. And yeah. when it first opened up, there was this track. First time I'd ever seen a track in a gym. It's like a 25 yard, yeah. 30, 25 yard track, Ben? Uh, something like that. Yeah. 25 yards. And nobody went on it. Everybody was scared of it. And then yeah. all of a sudden we saw this, this, really tough mean trainer who was Ben um working this kid over this guy was a muscle uh, really well fit Jordan I think his name was he was really in shape and um he was one Saturday morning we were there to do spinning or something and then everybody's talking about there's this class that only one person would take and Ben <laughs> Ben made that one person puke after class <laughs> so so nobody wanted to take it <laughs> so uh someone someone dared my what my wife Bonnie and I, we were we were happy we were a happy couple then. Then I think the class is what did it um, to, to try to, 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 to try. It was called track attack to tell you how how easy it was, bulldog. And it was it was a tough class. It was great. Ben taught it until he couldn't stand us any longer. I think it was like three classes. Yeah, yeah. But um, he he did really well. And then that was the first group exercise class at Foreman Fitness. Yes. Uh, on the track for sure yeah and, yeah and you're you're right jack it's funny because when we put in that track there i don't think there was a single gym in wisconsin that had like an acceleration track like that yep and uh you know all gyms typically back 60 years ago had just lines of equipment lines of cardio stuff and we put that in there and it was so funny to watch everybody like the members come in because they'd be like God, could you just put some more machines down the track? Yeah. Put some treadmills <laughs> on the track, and they just didn't get it. And now, you know, fast forward 16 years, I mean, the turf and track here are bases and going fitness. Yeah, that's so, that's so. really uh, that that turf is well used for sure. Yeah. All kinds of classes, and then you have uh, sleds you can push or pull on there. Oh. All kinds of terrible things that you can do it, to it yourself, is. like it bear is. crawls and spider spider walks. All <laughs> kinds of shit you never want to do in your life. But then, totally. then but then Ben's making you do it, and he smiles just like that. He always he's always smiling. <laughs> right. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, you hear it? Okay, do it I again. I realize you're puking, but you know, have fun with it. You know, come on. <laughs> you do have to be a little bit of a sado sadist to be a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, and, and, you know, it's always fun for me, you know, but you know, you're sweating and you're smiling and, and people are getting results and it's just, it's a wonderful career field that way. It's just, it's so much fun. It's fun. Uh, we were at, uh, my daughter and I were at boot camp this morning with uh, MJ, Mary Jo mm -hmm. going through and we were on the track. We were yep. sweating on the track. Yep. It, it was a posterior, no, anterior day. It was, anterior day. Okay. yeah, it yep. was, a, awesome. yep. yeah, it was yeah, tough that, that, as that usual. Was awesome. Yeah, you. I mean, you've been an avid. Uh, it's you know, I yep. mean, really staying fit and uh, with it. Very impressive. All right, here. This is going to be even more impressive, Ben. If you can get Bulldog to start doing <laughs> boot camps, <laughs> you will know that you will know you have really reached the apex. You're going to have to pull me out of the other F and F, the uh, farm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it, it's uh, the Bulldog. Do you, do you exercise at all currently, or what are you doing? Um, I would, I, I think about it quite a bit. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know, it's all I mean, mental. It's all mental. It's all mental. You know, you got you that know. part covered. I need to. I very much. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, getting into 22, it would be a very wise thing. And I'm sure my physician, my team of physicians right. would also concur. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be a gym and it doesn't have to be, you know, a trainer. I mean, really 80% of the benefits of exercise come from just taking one every day, you know, for, for playing the injury. You know, I mean, it, it's just about moving. Um, and that's something that always is so interesting to me. Like, I, I'm a big, like, nerd about longevity you know like what what things truly cause people to live longer you know and mm-hmm. not have medical issues and things yes. of that nature i'm a big and, fan and, of living too ben yeah, yeah that's, that's see, I, I, i'm a big I fan of living too yeah. 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 might as well stay along stay around a little bit longer um, my dog has that too he really <laughs> yeah we all we all kind of do although i mean from the behavior of some people you wonder you know I mean, <laughs> it's true. I mean, it's true. all these things that like because probably when you go down the list of what is going to kill you quickly Smoking's number one, right? That is 15 years off of your life. You know, I mean, people are actively attempting to destroy their health, and it, it always fascinates me. But, and I hear a lot of talk about, well, you know, these people that exercise, they spend probably as much time exercising as they're adding to their life. And, you know, most of the research does not support that. It's actually typically the second powerful thing you can do to live longer. You know, an extra 10 years of life possible, you know, so. And you feel better, and you're stronger, yeah. and you're more functional, and you have better balance, and you don't, you know, I mean, it's just all of those things. It's just uh, another one where it's like, you know, it's a little hard to get started, get it rolling, but once you do, it's just like, there's just such a benefit. Just, um, I can't imagine my life without doing that, you know, so, um, you know, so, I mean, and not, a lot of it is been about uh, vanity or appearance or anything like that, or a lot of people do that, those types of reasons, but um, some of it is just being able to move around okay, you know, um, and, and as we age, you know, balance comes all over. So, um, so, anyways, and that, that, that brings me to my, my topic. Yes, please. So, um, Jack, hold on, Jack, ask like, what do you want to talk about? And um, one of the things I've been kind of geeking out for exercise lately is um, high intensity interval training. Have you guys heard of this? I know Jack's done it. Yeah. Before. But what is it? Um, is it uh, Ben? Are, are you? Bold, are you hearing any problems with Ben's audio, or is it just yeah, me? Yeah, your audio is hicking out, uh, hiccuping a up. little bit. I don't know, maybe a little closer to your computer might help. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, better, better, Any better. Yeah, much better. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, so hit. You're talking about high intensity interval training. Yes, yes. Um, you know, and uh, it, it's a fascinating topic. And you know, most people when they think about uh, high intensity interval training, it's hard, right? I mean, that, that sounds difficult. It sounds hard. It sounds like something that you know, intimidating. Um, but it's been fascinating to me uh, as I've been kind of implementing it with clients in the last five or six years. And it, it, um, it actually is something that anybody can do. Uh, and it is, it, it's something where a 60 year old person that is going to exercise at home, uh, there's protocols for doing it in your house. There's, you know, so let me briefly explain what it is. So, yeah, please. Um, high intensity interval training is something that increases your cardiovascular fitness levels. So Far you can run, how fast you can run, how far you can walk, how you can climb up a hill, that kind of stuff. And the weird thing about it is, if you would ask most people, including myself, even like 10 years ago, like, what is the best way to train for a marathon? It would be like running really long distances multiple times a week, right? We all kind of think that, like it's like, okay, that's what I need to do to get fit. Um, and there is this really fascinating body of research where it's like actually. The way you could run a marathon better is by doing sprint training, you know, which is like totally counterintuitive. Right. Um, you know, so that's fascinating to me because like, I'm always looking at like, okay, one of the biggest barriers to exercise is time. You know, like, right. I don't have an hour to sit on a recumbent bunny or kick a walk. I'm busy. I got other things going on. And I hear that all the time from people. And that's where this technique comes in and it's so powerful. Um, there was one study that I just was reading uh, the other week. It was basically taking a one-minute workout compared to someone who's doing a one-hour workout and seeing what the results were. So we put two groups of people. One group of people was doing three 20-second all-out bursts of exercise followed by just some very short, kind of an hour or kind of like very low-intensity stuff like walking. So they would sprint for 20 seconds, walk for two minutes. Sprint for 20 seconds, walk for two minutes. Sprint for 20 seconds, walk for two minutes. 
So the whole workout took maybe 10 minutes, seven minutes. And they were comparing it to this other group of people that were working out for an hour in a, at a steady state. And the fascinating part of the study was the amount of fitness level gained between the two groups was exactly the same. Wow. So it's like, it's like my boy. It's like, okay, so I could work out for, you know, one minute, three times a week, and I can get the same results as a person working out you know, five times a week for an hour. You know, and I find that absolutely. I'm, I'm busy, but I got a minute. <laughs> you got a minute, right? You know, yeah, you know, totally. and, and, and that goes along with Jeremiah said last week, we said, how much should you work out when you're starting to work out? What's, and he said, if you're not doing anything, do one day. I mean, you don't have to try and do it yeah. all at once. Do more than you're doing now. So you could do um, just 10 minutes. Like, okay, my daughter, Margo, whom, whom you know, Ben, yeah. um, yep. and she told me, I, when I told her you were coming on this morning, we we're going to talk about hits. She said, you know, dad, it was, that that's fun. Those hit things are fun. And she said, I started doing them. She was at, at school and they have a nice gym at the school. It's just been redone. But once COVID hit, they shut the gym down to everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody had to stay in their dorm rooms except for walking. And she said, she started doing hit workouts online with no equipment yep. even. And yep. she said, it's, it was amazing how much, how she was able to stay in shape and you want to mix that. You don't want to do that all the time, but if you have to, you can. And those yeah, things are, and those are incredibly effective. And when did, when did this hit stuff, hit shit start, Ben? When did this start? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's funny. It, it still isn't widely accepted. Like in the endurance groups, you know, like yeah. people that train for marathons typically still do these huge uh, volumes of running and things. So it's still not widely accepted in my opinion. Um, I don't think people really understand understand it, but it started to percolate into the fitness realm probably about like seven years ago, you know, um, and now it's kind of getting a little more mainstream with like Orange Theory and some of these, you know, like there's even national brands that that's their whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, although many of them don't do it right. Um, it just, you know, you know, hip, hip is typically done at all out intensity, only a very few intervals, you know, and it's not done you know, for a long period of time. So like mm -hmm. Orange Theory, like the have you doing multiple different hit things all in one hour you're, you're doing all this crap and it's just it's it's probably too much i wonder if the oh. endurance stuff that people do all the time is uh just kind of uh uh bullshit grandstanding they just want you know yeah. look at me go look at me yeah. go and it's like you're actually not really doing you know you could do that in well, like 10 minutes but you know <laughs> yeah no i mean totally it is it's just a concept um uh back to what you're saying about margo um jack which is interesting um I have some clients and, and I wanted to make this point, which, you know, you don't need to go to a gym. You can do high intensity training at home. I have one lady who's still very fearful of COVID and she's a training client and I train her in her house uh, virtually or whatever. Ah. Or whatever. Cool. And um, we use her stairs. Uh, so the, on the bottom step, we just have her going up and down that step as fast as she possibly can for 20 seconds. She does three intervals, completely smoked at the end of that. And she's getting substantial benefits you know it's just really cool like you don't, you don't need a gym you don't need a treadmill you don't need to you know i have stairs <laughs> yeah if you have stairs like yeah, yeah. you can totally yeah. do it yeah and uh you know and even if you just did it three times a week that'd be an amazing uh workout it really mm -hmm. your your cardiovascular fitness level um one thing with hit training to uh keep in mind though is if you haven't been exercising it's not something to do on your first right you don't want to go all out you haven't been exercising at all and you're gonna to go to your stairs and go crazy on you know for 20 seconds like that's not a good idea like if you're, if you're, <laughs> that's not right? a good idea <laughs> it's not a good idea you would, you would start a little bit easier you know like you just try doing it for 20 seconds up and down kind of see how you feel don't go real fast you know and then build up over time as you felt you to handle it to be more intense really and ben, at at, the, at Form and Fitness, do you have high intensity training classes, or do you do that through training trainers specifically, or how how does that work? Um, well, you take the boot camps. Um, typically, the the boot camps or team training all have a high intensity component. Mm -hmm. um, I am trying to get all the trainers to understand and learn more about that so that they do it correctly. Um, sometimes I feel like there's too many of the intervals, uh, or the intervals aren't going to a maximum for those who are fit enough to handle it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, so. So typically team training, we have that. Um, but then we've, we've added all those machines we're just general members and it can be up on. So a lot of people do that training, like a rolling machine, uh, mm -hmm. standing ski erg machine, which you can mm -hmm. use. That's uh, unbelievable, that machine. If you've really ever cool. seen that. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's so it's just great. You you get a it's it it gases you quickly. Holy mackerel, that thing's a son of a gun. And it, 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 it doesn't hurt. 
No, oh, that's the other thing. No, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, I mean, especially if you have hurt knees or hips or something, you can't really do the stuff to your leg. You can do a skier and use your upper body to create a high intensity interval. Yeah. Um, and we just added yesterday, uh, the team went back. Uh, I wanted these for a long time. And we really over. Um, there are these small powered treadmills. Have you ever seen those? Where you're, can, can you come just a little oh, closer? Yeah, sorry. Um, we added some self powered treadmills. Have you ever uh, seen those uh, where you, you kind of run on them? There's no motor, so you're powering the treadmill. Oh, well, well, if I, I think I would break it with my motor that I have internally, <laughs> but, but for most humans, it would be good. No, I have not seen those, but that's cool. Um, where where are those, Ben? Those. They're, they're right on the track. You'll eventually be using them, Jack. But Oh, great. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're great. I used them yesterday for my workout. I did two 10-second intervals. And that was <sighs> <it>. <laughs> so, yeah, so you're going to have fun with that. <laughs> oh, man. Ben's <laughs> trying all kinds of stuff. I remember that bulldog they had a thing called the tread sled that was oh, like yeah. a, a tackling dummy that you would hold on to but it was on a, a thing and you do i yep. ever after one time everybody was calling it the dread sled because oh god that was Trying terrible make Ivan drago over there i must <laughs> well, break you <laughs> well let's see how ben how big a smile got when he's talking about how terrible it was uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah was some... the new ones are exactly like that thing jack so, oh, great. <laughs> oh, God. It's back. It's back. Back, back to the future. <laughs> so, I'm glad he's using his powers of evil for good. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Totally. That's exactly right, Bulldog. That's what you're, you know, that's exactly what it is. And uh, um, this Thursday on Thanksgiving, you're doing a, a turkey. What what's it called? What are you guys calling it exactly? A turkey Day Boot Camp. Yeah. Yeah. And, and is it open to the public if you're not a yeah. member or no? Yeah, okay. it totally is. Um, many times. And we have seven, we have 50 slots in the boot camp. We have seven left. You know, so if anyone wants to come by and try out some of this kind of stuff, uh, you just have to call our front desk and sign up. Um, there's a little nominal fee that gets donated to Big Brothers Big Sisters. Uh, nice. You know, so but it is uh, uh, this type of style of working out. There'll, there'll yeah. definitely be some intervals in there. Yes, yes. Margo and I are doing that, and that's another thing. You feel slightly better about yourself heading into thing whatever you're going to eat on yes. thanksgiving is yep. is more like oh i don't feel so bad i did a hit this morning <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so hit me <laughs> in <laughs> hit me with i would have never thought that people would want to do that on thanksgiving morning but they they totally do for the exact oh. reason they're talking about it. they feel uh -huh. a little better going into the you know eating the pie and everything you know afterwards because they, uh -huh. they they burn some stuff off in the morning well, that's a bonus, but the real reason is they hate their relatives and want to get out of the house. So, <laughs> talk to Uncle works. Phil. Yeah. Or go work I gotta go hit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, totally, totally. Ben, if yeah. someone wanted to learn more about form and fitness, what what should they do? Should they call? Should they come in uh, on an hour? Should um, they go no. on the website? What 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 do you recommend? I think the best way to get going is to have one of our, um, we do seven day free trials. And with those seven day free trials, we also have a uh, consultation with this professional. Um, and a lot of people think of that consultation as like a sales experience. You know, we don't really handle it that way at Formas Fitness. The consultation is a chance for our fitness professionals to give people some advice. Um, so it, it, that is the best way to start is to sit down with somebody like me you know, have a hour conversation about what your goals are, what your injuries are, what you're trying to do, and then get some really good advice from people who know what they're doing as you started on that path. Should know? they call ahead for that, Ben, or do they? Uh, yeah, website? You, can either, you can either just come right in and okay. um, take a tour of the gym and then say, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to join today. If you join, you automatically get some free personal training with membership at Forum Fitness. Mm -hmm. But if you're not ready to join the gym or commit to that, you can just do a seven day trial. And but I feel like not enough people take advantage of that bid console because mm -hmm. um, that is probably the most powerful part. Like if you don't know what you're doing and you do a seven day trial and you just wander around in the gym. It's just like, the table. yeah, it sucked it, and you didn't know what you're doing. And, you know, right. So. Right. Because a lot of the things like, like you just said today about hit, you wouldn't think a minute would make a difference. It does. And the other thing, like Jeremiah said a couple of things that blew me away last week, like uh, a, a more inefficient body, burns weight faster until you start getting in more shape and then you know and things like that and the resistance training what a, what a key component that is it's not yep. just cardio of losing weight but you wouldn't know that unless you talk to somebody and they said this is what i want to do whether you want to tone you want to lose you want to just uh keep going you want to live longer whatever it is i mean everybody has different goals for what they're doing but um yeah different amounts of time they have available to do it you know? exactly and, and, um you know some people have young children and you know, where they really have a short little blip that they have, you know, and other yeah. people have like a lot of time, you know, so 
yeah, it is, it is so individual to the person. Um, and that's what I always try to do as a trainer. And, you know, I, I've really kind of imparted that. We have 26 trainers on staff, but getting all of those guys to really be able to express what that person needs. If we don't, if we don't get them what they need, you know, it, they're not going to be successful. So, right. Um, yeah. So that's the fun part, you know, oh. meeting with people and getting them going. You know, and, and we've seen a lot of people that have really, really done some amazing things over the years. Truly. And see, see how Ben likes to personalize your torture. I mean, your training and, uh, <laughs> to what you want. Yeah. Well, clearly I'm due for some amazing things because you guys are, uh, this is, I don't know if this was an insidious way for Jack to uh, extend the <laughs> lifespan of our show by extending my lifespan. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Do we, totally. do we have to, do they go hand in hand? Can't we do the show hey, without exploring? You know, you know what we're doing, you know, doing Bulldog. This so. might be something you might be interested in. We are doing a sweepstakes we are going to take four community members in the month of January, and we're going to give them free personal training for six weeks. Uh, and we're going to, but they have to be, they will be in a reality style TV show about <laughs> how the whole experience goes, what happens, and because we really want to get people to see, you know, so. Your ratings understand. will drop. I'll whine a lot. No one wants to hear me whine that much. <laughs> we hear it yeah. every day, no matter what. <laughs> totally, totally. Just the extension of the show. Yeah. Right, right. But that might be an <laughs> option, you know, uh, get get uh, get you in there and get you going with that. I think that's going to be a really fun, uh, we've never done that before, so I think it's a really interesting thing to do where you're, you're kind of follow, where you get four kind of different people and um, follow them and see how they do a new challenge. Hugely know? tempting. So, Hugely yeah, tempting. I, I, uh, <laughs> I got I got this sleep apnea thing that came up this year and I, and I'm like oh boy I should probably nip that in the bud too on my little checklist of things that are going to take yeah, me out yeah. so yeah sleep, sleep's kind of important um, totally. fr and fr this Friday is Black Friday and uh, at Foreman Fitness there you got all kinds of screaming deals going on I think I'm even going to jump into that one because yeah. the thing is I've worked out there for 15 or 16 years and just like anything else sometimes you need a refresh you need a, a something different something different from what you're doing a little tweak here or there makes a big difference in what you're doing yeah totally and um, that is um that's a good point Jack if anybody listening to this is interested in kind of getting going on a fitness program that is the best time to buy it because there there are discounts on memberships Counts on training, everything. That and it's a one day only. And it only happens like one day a year, obviously. Yeah. Our Black Friday is not like an extended three week Black Friday. It's like it's just Friday. <laughs> and and in person, you have to show up in person. Well, the other F and F, Farm and Fleet, it goes on for much longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. <laughs> yeah. Get some of those circus peanuts from Farm and Fleet, and then you can eat them while you're standing in line <laughs> for Black Friday. <laughs> I forgot about those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they always have those. Oh, good. Well, Ben, thanks a lot. We're gonna thank you. Uh, we, we'd love to keep this going as a Fitness Friday yeah. segment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In, whomever you want to torture by having come on and join us, that's good with us. As long as they have a, a good sense of humor, they can, they're all right with yeah, us. But yeah. We'd It'll love for this to be a regular, a Friday slot. Yeah. Rotating different uh, trainers and whatnot, you know, with Jeremiah yep. and I also coming in. Uh, Excellent. On a basis. So yeah, yeah. sounds great. So thank Absolutely. you. I appreciate being on and uh, it was really nice to meet you Bulldog and, 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 uh, <laughs> we'll see you in the sweepstakes challenge. Things, I, as De Niro says, I hear things. I hear things. Might happen. I don't know. Might, might happen. <laughs> All right. Well, nice All right. Have a great weekend, guys. All right. You All right, too. Thanks, Ben. See ya. Bye -bye.